Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ. And make sure you hit that like button. We are hopping into this action. We are two and six, and Troy is actually two and five. You see the comparison. We're actually rated a lot better than them on offense, it looks like. But on defense, we got some work to do. I mean, we've had a kind of a down season. We're one and five in the Sun Belt. At least Troy has not won a game and they were actually one of the top teams in our division last year and our division's doing pretty bad this year so in this video i do want to talk about this series and the future of it going forward so i am not getting rid of this series trust me i'm just talking about the release schedule with this series so i want to get back into regularly putting this series out and one move I am going to make is I'm going to release this video about once every Bruh. three videos I release. So once I release two videos, which I'm probably going to be focusing on two series. I think that three series is a lot. I do do uh, two Madden series. I do the Broncos Fantasy 32 user uh, dynasty or franchise I have going on Madden. But I'm, I'm kind of, you know, that is kind of fun to me. I do like doing it. But I just don't feel like as far as YouTube, my heart is in making videos for it. So I'm going to actually have that as my least uh, posted series. And Coastal is going to jump back up to being released probably every three videos I release. So I'm going to release probably two Redskins videos. And then I'm going to release uh, a Coastal video. So remember, every three releases, I'll probably release a Coastal video video so this franchise this dynasty is not going anywhere and definitely it's going to be a challenge because hopping between madden and this game is a challenge i swear it's it's a challenge but i'm up for the challenge and i want to see some of my coastal guys even make it into my madden series so let's just hop into this gameplay you see on the first drive we did hold them to a field goal, so that's a good sign because our defense has been struggling. But on a third and ten, throwing it out to Jack Kleck, and there is Jack Kleck, the transfer sophomore, getting the catch for a nice game for a first down. So now on a second and eight, here's Kashawn Curtin throwing back out to Kleck in the flats and picking up seven yards. So now facing a third and two, here is Jimbo Brown getting the handoff, but that one is not well blocked. And we get stopped behind the line by Tron Folsom as we're now in four down territory because we don't have a good kicker. So here is Sam Forbes getting open across the middle. And that is going to be a nice pitch and catch. And Sam Forbes does pick up the first down. So now in a first and 10, here is Jimbo Brown finding a little bit of running lane. And he's going to get inside the 10. So now on a second and five, here's Sam Forbes coming on the end around. He's going to get into the end zone for the touchdown seven yard touchdown run by sam forbes and what a nice play that time as the defense probably didn't see that coming because there was nobody on the left side of the defense to stop him and we take the lead seven to three so now here is barker back out on the next drive throwing the ball deep on the first play and orlando norman he has two deflections already already two drop picks and that one might cost us a little bit because on a second and 10, here's Henderson getting going on the handoff. And Henderson, Jamarius Henderson is going to get 17 yards on that carry. So here is Barker from the shotgun finding a little running lane. Going to get through the defensive line and pick up 12 yards. So now on a first and 10, here is Barker giving it off to Jamarius Henderson one more time. And he's getting up close to about the 25 yard line so now two minutes left in this first quarter here on a first and ten wide open is deandre douglas burning xavier davis on the outside for the touchdown and they take the 10 to 7 lead so now here back out on offense look at jimbo brown straight destroying a corner on that one making him look like a wimp and he picks up seven yards so now on a third and three here is curtain throwing across the middles to Sam Forbes and picking up an easy first down. So now on a first and 10 here near the 40 yard line, here is Curtin throwing to the right side, finding Justin Johnson for the nice 22 yard gain. So now on a second and four, a couple of plays later, here's Justin Johnson one more time with two back-to-back -back receptions 
that time picking up 10. So now on a second and 10, close to the 25 yard line, getting into field goal range. Look who's wide open. It's Jack Click, the sophomore transfer tight end. He gets the 24 yard reception and Curtin's actually showing some accuracy on this first drive as he does find his favorite target so far this season. And that's gonna be 14 to 10 here for the Coastal Carolina Shauna Clear. So now here back out on defense, here is Troy throwing a screen pass to Douglas and they're gonna pick up the first down. So now on a second and 10 here, almost at the 50 yard line, picking up a couple blocks. And that was a nice block that time by the pulling guard and they pick up a nice nine yard game. But on a third and one here is Barker. We're sending a blitz and he tries to get it out to his running back. And that's not going to be completed as we do force the first punt of the game. So now here to start the second quarter, here's Jimbo Brown getting a nice running lane up the middle and getting 10 yards. So now on a second in inches, here is Curtin from the shotgun, throwing to the left side, finding Jack Kleck once again open for another first down. He's got four receptions, 67 yards already in this game so now here is Jimbo Brown getting the handoff and dragging a defender for a gain of 20 that didn't even seem like 20 yards but look at that cut inside and Jimbo Brown fights off the tackler and picks up a probably an extra six seven yards on that so now on a second and 10 here is Curtin past the 50 yard line rolling out to the right and picking up 11 he does fumble out of bounds but I knew he was going to do that that's why I kind of stayed close to the sideline. So now on a second and four, here is Jimbo Brown getting six yards on the carry. So now on another second and four, here is Garcia running the Texas route and getting open across the middle of the field and picking up nine yards. So now on a first and 10 here, three minutes in this half. And here is Jimbo Brown moving the ball, getting closer and closer to this goal line. So now facing a third and one, look at this. Defensive line straight destroying the right side of our line, getting in for the tackle. So we do have to settle for the field goal. No risk being taken here as we know how much we struggle on offense and defense. So we gotta kind of take the points when we can get them. But on the next drive here, a minute left in this half, Troy's trying to just put together a drive before half. But here on a third and eight, they try to run a quick count that time and their offensive line does jump off side. So now on a third and 13, they decide to try to run the ball and they do not pick up the first down. So we call a timeout. And we do force them to punt the ball away to us. And we start out this next drive at our own 40 here with 14 seconds left. And here's Angel Gonzalez getting open that time on the 17 yard reception past the 50 yard line. So now nine seconds left after running the hurry up. Here facing a little bit of pressure, but look at Curtin throwing across the middle and finding JJ Justin Johnson over the middle. And that's a nice big gain as now we have four seconds left. We kick a field goal here and that makes it 20 to 10 going into halftime. So now to start out this second half, here is Curtin. We do start out with the ball, finding Justin Johnson on the right side, wide open in the zone, and that's a 24 yard reception. So now a couple of plays later here on a third and four, we do get stuffed though. So that quick drive already ends, but we're already in four down territory. We need these wins. We're going for it on a fourth down and now the read option. Curtin does pick it up and we move the chain so now here on a second and seven here is Kashawn Curtin rolling out to the right wide open is a couple of receivers and he throws the ball deep and Angel Gonzalez the red shirt freshman gets in for the touchdown 40 yards downfield and the defense I don't even know what happened that might have been a blown coverage but Angel Gonzalez somehow gets wide open behind the defense and he's been having a phenomenal season even with this bad record that we have. So now back out on defense here, up 27 to 10. Now this is the biggest lead we've had all year here on uh, second and three. Here is Barker from the shotgun. Play action fake to his running back and getting it out to Davis. 
for the first down. So now Sidney Davis picks up a first down and gets past the 50-yard line. So now a couple of plays later, here is Troy here trying to get into field goal range on a third and 10, dumping it off to the running back, Henderson. But that's not picking up any yards. I don't know what they're doing, and that's going to be a tackle that time, and they're going to have to try to settle for the long field goal, and that is kind of close. I mean, that was a long field goal. That was probably over 56 yards, and we do take over. So now on a first and 10, trying to throw the ball deep one more time. That time it's Sam Forbes rather than Angel Gonzalez, and that one's almost an interception. So on a second and 10, giving it to Jimbo Brown. Easy five yards. So now on a third and five here, close to the 50-yard line, throwing the ball across the middle, standing in the pocket, facing a little pressure, finding Justin Johnson, the freshman, as we do continue this drive. So now on a first and 10, here is Curtin facing some more pressure, throw it out to the right. And look at Jack Kleck keeping one foot in bounds and making the catch. So now on a first and 10, a couple of plays later, here is Jimbo Brown eight yards on the reception so now in a second and two getting towards the end of the third quarter here's Jack Collette getting open across the middle and getting to the 10 yard line 91 receiving yards already for him in this one so on a first and 10 here roll it out to the right throw into Max Moriarty and the backup tight end picks up 10 yards for his first catch of the game so that moves us into the fourth quarter here Fake reverse this time, and we run the ball in with Kashawn Curtin, and that is going to be 34 to 10 here for Coastal. What is going on this season? I mean, we could not even play any defense this whole season, but now all of a sudden we end up doing this. So now here, 34 to 10, and they have the ball here back out on offense on a second and six, throwing the ball away. So now on a fourth and six, here is Barker from the shotgun here. Throw it out to the right side, lobs it over the top of Ian Hartman. That one probably could have ended the game, but they do keep this drive going. So now on a second and seven here, close to the 30-yard line. Here is Barker throwing the ball to Letton over the middle, and Letton is going to pick up a first down but and get inside the five yard line so now on a second and goal here is Barker clean pocket where is the pressure throwing the ball across the middle and wide open Sidney Davis gets the reception and that's six as they do go for it on a two point conversion and somehow yeah. Henderson runs over the linebacker that time Ryan Marshall and he picks up the two point conversion so now up by two scores here here is Alan King on the kicker turn he gets a little running lane and he's getting to the outside, outrunning everybody. One man to miss, but he does get tackled at about the 12-yard line. What a year this freshman returner has been having. And likely next year, he'll probably get some looks at safety as here is Jimbo Brown now with great field position, running the ball forward for a nice five yards. But on a third and five, here's Curtin trying to roll out to the right. Gets tackled, and look at this. The ball is fumbled, and it stays in bounds, and the defender falls right on it for the first turnover of the game. So we do get him down to a third and 11 inside the five-yard line, but here's Henderson getting the little, little pitch there and picking up the first down. So now two minutes, 50 seconds left in this game. Here is Barker finding a wide open Henderson one more time. And he's picking up the first down on a 12-yard reception. So now on a first down past their own 30-yard line. Here is Barker throwing out to the outside and finding Hill for the seven-yard reception. So now here's Barker one more time from the shotgun. Throwing to the left side, and there is Willis. And he's getting the reception to the left side for a first down. So now here is Barker throwing to the outside one more time. And Sidney Davis is there for the seven yard reception. So these little dump passes just moving the ball nicely as they find Davis one more time. And this one does go for a big gain up to about the 15 yard line. So now facing a first and 10. Here's Barker from the shotgun throwing over the middle. And we baited them that whole drive, letting them think they can get away with these short passes, have an opportunity for an inter interception. And we drop it. So now here is Barker back out on the next play, third and 10. 
and look who's there for the interception. I was just talking about it, that next year he's going to get some looks at safety, and the true freshman, Alan King, comes up with the interception, and that propels us to seal this game as we take care of business at home, 34-18, to as Kashawn Curtin actually had a pretty good game. I mean, no inaccurate throws that really irritated me. He was fairly accurate the entire game, and I think his Achilles heel is just that he doesn't start out accurate, and that kind of ruins his confidence the rest of the game. So now on the receiving end, Jack Cluck has a big game, six receptions, 91 yards. Justin Johnson actually had five receptions, 81 yards, and another big game from Angel Gonzalez. He had a couple of big pass, a uh, b- couple of big catches, and he picks up a touchdown as well. But on defense, I mean, Cedric Granger was flying all over the field. He had two tackles for loss, and he had eight tackles total. And one thing, you know, I'm just disappointed in Xavier Davis. I mean, he's not having the season that I would want him to have on the outside, but, I mean, I'm still giving him a chance because, you know, there are times when he does make good plays. Trust me, he does. But he does give up a lot of big plays. He gave up one in this game as well. So you see Caleb Barker on their side, two touchdowns, one interception. Threw for 260, and Henderson ran for only 62. It seemed like he ran for 100, as he did have 37 yards receiving. But, I mean, this was an overall good game. I liked what I saw from both sides of the ball. We definitely balled out. This might have been probably our best game this year. So, hit subscribe, hit that like button. Next episode, we are going up against Texas State. So, you don't want to miss that one. So, stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go.